Lehman Cert Higher Level Maths 2020 Paper 2. This is the solution video to question 9. So question 9 is a calculus question. Two ships set sail at the same time, ship A from port A and ship B from port B. Port A is 90 kilometers due west of port B, as shown below. Ship A is traveling due east at a speed of 15 kilometers per hour. Ship B is traveling due south at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Part A asks us to find the difference between distance between the two ships 30 minutes after he set sail. Give your answer in kilometers correct to two decimal places. So after 30 minutes, we just need to find how far they've sailed. So ship A going at 15 kilometers per hour has traveled 7.5 kilometers. And ship B going 30 kilometers per hour has traveled 15 kilometers. So then if we were to draw a triangle here from port A or position A, position of ship A to port B to position of ship B, um, what would the lengths of the sides be? Well, this between A and B is 90. It's already gone 7.5. So that leaves um, 82.5 up here. And then from uh, B, starting at B and going down, it's gone 15 kilometers. So we just need to find this X here and that's a, a right angle triangle. So we're just doing the theorem of Pythagoras here. X is equal to the square root of 82.5 squared plus 15 squared. So X is going to be equal to um, 83.85 kilometers. Part B, T is the time in hours after the ship set sail. Show that the distance between the ships at time T can be given by the function S of T is equal to 100 and, uh, 1,125 T squared minus 2,700 T plus 8,100 all to the power of a half where T is between zero and six hours. So for this, it's actually just this Pythagoras that we did up above and it's just in terms of, of t. So we can start out by saying the s of t is equal to, so we have the 90 minus the 7.5. Well, it's, it's, it's the 90, here it is here, the, the 90 minus what a has done. So 90 minus 15 kilometers per hour, so times t, and that's squared plus the distance that ship B has gone, which is zero plus 30 T squared. So just that's just 30 uh, T squared. And that's all to the power of a half. So you just need to work this out and that'll give you your function here. So S of T is equal to square out this one. So 90 squared is 8,100. Uh, twice the product, so 90 by minus 15 by 2 will give us minus 2,700 T. And then minus 15 T by minus 15 T is plus 225 T squared. And then we have plus another uh, 30 T squared, uh, or 30 T by 30 T rather is 900 T squared. And that's all to the power of half. And then just tidy up a little bit. S of t is equal to, um, we can put the t squares together. So 900 plus 225 is your 1125. So 1125 t squared. Uh, then we have minus 2700 t is there, minus 2700 t. And then you have your plus 8100. And it's all to the power of a half which is what we were asked to get there. Part C then asks us to use calculus to find the value of T when the ships are closest to each other and find the distance between the ships at your value of T. Give, you, give the distance in kilometers correct to one decimal place. So this is just finding the minimum value of S of T. So just a minimum value question um, with a function. So. Basically, we have S of T, so we want to differentiate it. So S prime of T, let's differentiate our S of T. Um, so it's 
going to be equal to bring down the power a half it's a chain rule leave the what was in the brackets as the same so that's one one two five t squared minus two thousand seven hundred uh, t plus eight thousand one hundred and then reduce the power by one so that's to the power of minus a half and then differentiate what's inside the brackets so that'll be two times uh, 1125 which is 2250 t minus 2700 so that's the derivative now to find the minimum value of that we let that equal to zero so that's going to be um, now I'm going to actually just tidy it up a bit as well when I'm making it equal to zero so it's going to be uh, to the power of, this to the power of minus a half brings this underneath the line um, of the fraction so this will be on top of the fraction so it's going to be 2250t minus 2700 over 2 times this 1125t squared minus 2700t plus 8100 and that's to the power of half, and that's all equal to zero. To solve this then, we have a fraction, so we multiply across by the denominator to get rid of the fraction. When we multiply across by that, it makes it much, much simpler. We simply get 2250t minus 2700 is equal to zero. So t is gonna be equal to 2700 divided by 2250. So we get an answer of t equal to 1.2 hours. So t is equal to 1.2 hours. And then we have to find the distance. So you sub in 1.2 into your s of t formula. So s of 1.2 is equal to 1. 1, 2, 5 times 1.2 squared minus 2,700 times 1 1.2 plus 8,100 all to the power of half. Type that into your calculator there and you'll get 80.5 kilometres. Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.